Niners playing the Green Bay Packers. We know this matchup, but you're you're a Midwest guy. You know the Packers really well. You know what they've been doing recently. How does this matchup stack up? They're they're the best team in the NFL, uh, mm. in my opinion. Top mm. to bottom throughout this season, I thought they were the best team in the NFL. And they're getting some big names back. Jairi Alexander is coming back. Zadarius oh. Smith is coming back. Oh, um, they yeah, have a really good still? team. Can yeah, you and Ooh. so that's where I wanted to go to to start off with. I think one of the most underrated parts of the second half of this season is the improved play of the interior offensive line. Lakin Tomlinson, top to bottom, has had a good season, but Alex Mack was struggling really early. Javon Hargrave gave him all he could handle week two, and Kenny Clark absolutely kicked uh, Alex Mack and Daniel Brunskill's ass in their week three matchup. To me, that was the biggest difference in the Green Bay Packers was that Kenny Clark dominated that game. He was oh, the God. best defensive lineman on the field, in my opinion, in that game. Alex Mack has played really, really well the last six, seven games. I don't think – I think, again, shout out Splash because another great stat. Four pressure, four games, zero pressures allowed. Um, I think that continues, and I think the fact that he's going to play much better against Kenny Clark is going to allow them to run the football. I, I think, you know, uh, uh, excuse me, Green Bay has a good good defense. I think they have a good uh, run defense. Devondre Campbell's had a great season. Sean Gary's – playing really well. Preston Smith has played really well, but I think the Niners can run the ball on anybody because I, I think they're both powerful, but they also have a great scheme. And I, I think they'll yeah. be able to run the ball in this game. They'll be able to do it really well and really effectively. Um, Compare the Niners then, run game to the Rams run game. The Ram, What is the Rams scheme? They have like three plays. I'm sorry. That's yeah, like they, they run, game. they run the lineback uh, play. They have outside zone. They run inside zone. They change it up with personnel. The Niners run game is definitely more diverse. They set it Way up more. more. It's yeah. so good. It's great. And they got the two running backs right now. Yeah, that's why I they just might win a Super Bowl with Jimmy Garoppolo this year. But it, it would be like, you know, the Joe Flacco. Not the, it would be like the Trent Dilfer, Brad Johnson type of deal. Fine. Yeah, and to me, Fine. I mean, to me, this great. matchup really sets up nice again for the 49ers because the way they're playing defense now is not the way they were playing defense through the first three weeks of this season. They're sure. much better with their run defense. Their run defense is suffocating. It's dominant. Yeah. The way they fill and trigger, it's special. It's artwork. Yeah, um, it's crazy. They, they couldn't really stop the run earlier in the year. They yeah, were struggling. that was one. And Remember two, Jonathan Taylor gashed them? Anyway, keep going. Their defensive line is now dominating games. Their yep. defensive line was playing okay in games. I mean, remember That's Green true. Bay came in there with a third string left tackle and Aaron Rodgers. All they did was chip both and now with yeah. that. Yeah, end yeah. of story. Yeah, now, 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 now yeah. yeah, now you can't do that. And their defensive line, Green Bay, this is the worst Green Bay Packer offensive line I've seen maybe Aaron Rodgers ever play with. Mm. So um, they're going to have success also, getting to the also, quarterback. Also, Debo Samuel wasn't a running back week three. And I've, I've, yeah. I keep saying this stat, there's seven and oh when he runs the ball more than five times. I mean, it's such an attainable number. And I do think it correlates, it, it, I think it's important because he's averaging a touchdown every seven and a half carry. So, yeah. It's, it's like a it's like a cheat code they discovered midway through the season. So, I mean, yeah, and you hear me, you hear me talking. I 100% agree with that. And I'm basically telling you, I think Green Bay is the best team in the NFL, and I think the Niners match up really, really favorably with them. The Mitchell didn't play in the first mark, game against them. Yeah, he didn't play either. He didn't play. Um, nope. They had a heavy dose of Hasty and then a little bit of Sermon. Sermon. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Um, and, and the Niners Jeff never Wilson won. Too. They have Jeff Wilson, too, who I, I yeah. think deserves more carries, but he's not playing at all. So, because Debo one, is basically one of the taking the bigger factors in this game, though, is just fatigue. Third straight road game. They're, and this is why the Niners generally stay in Youngstown or West Virginia because it's exhausting. Yeah. But yeah. they look pretty energized right now. They they look ready to play. And I, I yeah. think so. The biggest thing, right, it comes down to is beating Green Bay and Lambeau is hard. Obviously, that weather is hard, though. I think the Niners, the way they play football, I don't think the weather is going to make much of a difference. They're a very physical football team, and they set a physical game. tone in every game. Yeah. Um, I, I think it, it just keeps coming down to um, if they do get a lead, you know that Aaron Rodgers at some point in this game is going to be able to do a couple of magical things because he's Aaron Rodgers. To me, he's the best quarterback I've ever seen. Not the greatest. I've just never seen anybody play as perfect as Aaron Rodgers can play at Let times. him hang around. He's yeah, be and unlike that. the question is, right, if you get a lead – you can't have mental blunders from Garoppolo because no. Green Bay won't make the mistakes Dallas made. And I, I saw somebody put the um, uh, uh, donation out for you. I don't know if we'll get to it before I have to go, but they basically said, I don't think Dallas beat themselves. I think the Niners 
played extremely well game. And I think the Niners played fantastic. Don't get me wrong. I thought Debo was outstanding. Their defense was terrific, all of that. But they needed Dallas's 14 penalties to be able to overcome the two critical errors that Jimmy Garoppolo made in this well football game. Agreed. And the Mike McCarthy clock snafu at the end of the game. And so the big difference versus Green Bay will be that they don't – Green Bay won't be penalized 14 times. Aaron Rodgers won't throw a dumb interception in his own side of the field – and they won't make mistakes that will allow you to win the game in spite yeah. Garoppolo doing some dumb things. So that means Garoppolo has to play a much cleaner football game, and he all the well could. Uh, this matchup shapes up nicely for them versus Green Bay. But there's if a he way does the play the same the game he played versus Dallas. There's a way the Niners beat Green Bay, right? I mean, they, they sack Aaron Rodgers, and they run the ball really well. So yeah. if they can do that, they'll win. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, yeah. I it, think but so. When they lost earlier this year, what did they not do? Sack Aaron Rodgers. Yeah. Well, pretty much. That well. Yeah. Yeah. So it's pretty pretty obvious with the Niners. I think there's one way they beat Green Bay. I don't know how many ways Green Bay can beat the Niners, but it seems like the Niners' one way of winning right now is really, really doable. And, and just yeah. keep giving the ball to Debo. It's not that hard. For the now, Niners, might- it's really simple. Because if you, we it's go through the hard. Niners' losses, the key key thing that we always look to is man, bad turnovers and bad spots. Really, right. that's what it is. They beat themselves right. by turning the football over. And they don't have a defense that particularly forces a lot of turnovers. Maybe the only negative kind of thing you can say about their defense. So they often lose the turnover battle and leads them to losing games. Vish, am I wrong? Bay- Who is there only? I think there's only one player on offense who's turned the ball over since week 13. Yeah, I think is it? I is think it so. just I think G? Travis Benjamin tr- fumbled in in Seattle. I think since then it's been one guy. It's Where's Jimmy number G? 10? Yeah. 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 So, yeah, to me, to me, again, it just comes back to I think Green Bay will play a clean football game. I think Green Bay will play well. I think they're a good team. I think they're, again, I think they're the best team in the NFC, and they have an incredible home field advantage. And yet, I think the Niners can go into Lambeau and beat them. But you can't be, you know, throwing a dumb interception at 23-10 to 10 in your own side of the field and allowing Dallas to get, or Green Bay to get a touchdown. Because with that crowd, in that stadium with Aaron Rodgers, Devontae Adams, they're going to make you pay. My favorite thing about this week and this matchup is I haven't made my mind up yet. I don't know who's going to win. Who's going to win? I got to think about it. I got to listen to more guests and ruminate on this one because I don't know. The Niners, I could definitely see the Niners winning, but mm-hmm. I can see them losing. I got to think about this all week. I got to draw this out. Stay tuned. I'll let you know right before kickoff. <laughs> I think the one thing I will say is no matter what, I don't think this game will be a blowout either way. I think it'll be a really, really close football game. And I know people yeah. are looking at the 2019. They have not played Green Bay in Green Bay with uh, the team. They played them in 2018 with C.J. Beathard at quarterback, but they've not played Green Bay in Green Bay with Jimmy Garoppolo. It's a whole different animal. They were a lot better than the Green Bay team they played in 2013, oh. and it took a magical Colin Kaepernick drive to take them down the field to win that game. Green Bay in Green Bay is – and what I want to say to Kyle here is, look, um, you're free to have a quick hook here with Jimmy Garoppolo. I mean, he's he's got two injuries, and everyone knows it. They're both on his throwing arm, shoulder and a thumb. He didn't look good with the thumb. I guess he didn't look good with the shoulder, too. That was second quarter last week. Now it's outdoors in Lambeau. If he's stinking it up, do you really have to give him the third quarter? I don't know. It's worked out all year, but at a certain point, two injuries, people will understand if you make the switch. And I'll say I'm intrigued to see how his thumb is, right? Because the number right. one thing he talks about with his thumb is gripping the football. Right. I, I mean, I've walked outside in zero-degree weather, five-degree weather. If you're holding on to something, it's usually a rock. It's just very difficult to grip. You know, I've played basketball in that weather just outside with a couple friends. I've actually had to play, you know, soccer games in ridiculously cold weather at times just because yeah. it's just what happened. And kicking a soccer ball in that weather is like kicking a rock. And so I'm assuming that gripping a football is not the easiest thing to do. So I'll be interested to monitor with his thumb because he said grip is the one thing he's worried about. Yeah, to me, it's a bad it's a bad matchup. But I thought the, the Cowboys were a bad matchup too, and they were. And the Niners won anyway. So who can, maybe it doesn't matter. Maybe they're just going to have their Trent Dilfer year where it's like it's not about our quarterback at all. He's so irrelevant. We could win with Nate Sudfeld maybe. It's all about Debo and how many times we can get him the ball. And it's not hard to get him the ball. You can just hand it to him. You can walk over to him, put it in his hand, and then he'll make everyone miss. Yeah. Do you think Shanahan will show up in khakis? 
And Jimmy won't wear sleeves to make a statement? I think so. Yeah, throwback. Throwback. That would be tight. You think hey, Colin it Kaepernick was real sick. They the keep off. Huh? You think Colin Kaepernick will come to the game just to cheer on his team? I don't think he lives in uh, the Green Bay or, or Wisconsin. He was a Packers growing up, though. Yeah, well, I know. I mean, oh, I can't wait. I can't wait I, I, for Fox, Buck, and Aikman to show the picture of Aaron Rodgers with the helmet lopsided on his face. Did you know the 49ers that he was a Niner Aaron yeah. Rodgers. Yeah, they'll, they'll start off. Aaron Rodgers grew up in Chico, California, just 45 minutes away from Candlestick Park. Niners fan Not growing me. up. And then the picture of him sitting in the green room, they'll pan to that. And then, then, then they'll pan to Alex Smith, you know, shaking Roger Goodell's hands. It's a. Yeah. I feel like they have that entire sequence of clips on, you know, ready to I feel to like go. I've seen it a hundred times. Yeah. 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 Every time they play, they play it. And they us. play it like we – oh, wow. The, the Niners could have had Aaron Rodgers. What? Wow. I don't believe it. That's amazing. And then with Kaepernick, remember they used to show the letter he wrote in fourth grade about how he's going to be a football player? Play yeah. for the Packers. Yeah. 